All right, so in this problem, I have 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b here to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 0 0.2 is equal to log 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 0 0.2, These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 2 over log 0 0.2. Now, if you notice here, log 0 0.2, well, that's the same thing as log of 2 over 10. And if I have something in the form log a over b, this is simply equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, a is 2 and b is 10. So I can rewrite this as x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus log 10. Now, log 10, as we all know, is simply 1. So I have x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus 1. Now, log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. So I have 0 0.3010 over 0 0.3010 minus 1. And now this is equal to 0 0.3010 over 0 0.6990. And finally, if I divide these two, I get that x is equal to, sorry, this is actually negative 0 0.6990 x is equal to negative 0 0.43. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. So just looking at this problem, we can see that x is going to be greater than y. And this is because if x were less than y, then this would result in this here equaling a negative number. But because x is greater than y, this is why it's going to equal a positive number. Meaning, if x is greater than y, then x is going to equal y plus some number k. So k is a constant. So now, if I go ahead and replace x with y plus k, I get 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, and we write that as 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of y, I get 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 120. So now, this gives me two equations. I have 2 to the power of, or sorry, before that actually, 120, I can go ahead and rewrite as 8 times 15. So now, as you see, 
This is going to give me two equations. We can think of 2 to the power of y as 8 and 2 to the power of k minus 1 as 15. Because 2 to the power of y, this is going to be an even number, right? 2 to the power of any number is an even number. And 2 to the power of k minus 1, well, 2 to the power of k, that's an even number. And an even number minus 1, that's going to be an odd number. So notice how this is in the form a number times a number is equal to number times a number. Meaning this number is going to equal this number and this number is equal to this number. So now I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 8 and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 15. So for 2 to the power of y equals 8, y is going to equal 3 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So that's our solution for y. And for 2 to the power of k minus 1, add 1 on both sides. I get 2 to the power of k is equal to 16, meaning k is 4. So now that we have our value for y and k, remember x is equal to k plus y, meaning x equals 4 plus 3, which is 7. So these are my solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x minus 1 to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus x minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x squared to the power of 2. And x minus 1 to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x minus 1 squared to the power of 2. So now this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is x minus 1 squared. So now I have x squared plus x minus 1 squared times x squared minus x minus 1 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, x minus 1 squared, let's go ahead and expand that. That's going to equal x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I have x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x squared minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Because remember, you got to distribute the negative sign. And this is equal to 0. So now... Let's go ahead and simplify this. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. So I have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x squared x squared cancel out. So just 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And I have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So for 2x minus 1 equals 0, x is simply equal to 1 half. That's a simple equation. And now for 2x squared minus 2x plus 1, we're going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b, so negative of negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 1. And all of this over 2a, so 2 times 2, which is 4. And now this is the same thing as positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus a is negative 4 over 4. And as you can see, we have the square root of a negative number, which we can't do. So my only solution here is x equals 1 half. So x equals 1 half is my answer. All right. So in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 8 to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. 
So now in the case of log a to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of 8 is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 4, and I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two threes cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32, and this is a simple method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes them much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x 
which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you.